Welcome back to News 46. Well, here's a number that might give you some pause. 170 million dogs and cats are owned in the U.S. That's a lot of mouths to feed, but what exactly are you feeding your best friend? If you don't know how to interpret what's printed on their food bags and cans, it may not be what you think. Andrew McIntosh shows us how to look, what to look for. This health tip is brought to you by Humana. Visit our local office in the Prump Valley Junction Shopping Center or call 775-727-0871. Okay, we go, 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 go. Four agility dogs, good nutrition, helps fuel performance. I try to feed my dogs the highest premium quality dog food that I can afford. Everything has to be monitored and measured. These trainers spend up to $70 per bag of food to make sure their four-legged athletes eat the best. But for a lot of pets, improper nutrition plays a major role in a big problem. Obesity is not only a, um, a problem, but it's actually a disease in, in veterinary medicine. Veterinary nutritionist Corinne Saker says a lot of people buy pet food based on the packaging, not what's in the package. They see a really cool picture. The food looks colorful, a nice cut of beef or some chicken or some fresh vegetables. I think a lot of people stop there. But they shouldn't. Saker tells us these are the eight things to look for on the labels. The most important? is a nutritional adequacy claim, which is probably the smallest part on the label, but by far the most important. The claim will tell you if the food meets the high standards of AFCO, the Association of American Feed Control Officials. Our trainers didn't know about the claim, but after scanning the back of this bag, they found it. Provides complete and balanced nutrition. As for pet food ingredients, the more protein, the better. The higher up they are in the ingredient list, the higher um, percentage they are in the diet. Beef, lamb meal. But the wording on your pet's food could mean they're not getting the amount they need. If it says beef flavor, it has less than 3% of animal protein. With beef means it has a minimum 3%. That's a very, very small amount. Entrees must have at least 10%. And a label that has the name of the protein by itself will have at least 70% of that animal protein. While these tips might not make your pet perform like this, understanding what their food labels mean could help keep them healthy. And a healthy dog is a happy dog and is around longer. Good girl. Good dog. I'm Andrew McIntosh reporting. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. If your pet seems to be gaining a lot of weight, you may need to change the way you feed it. Sacker tells us you should never leave food out around the clock for your pet. She says free feeding is a big factor in pet obesity, so it's best to give them the proper serving size at set times during the day to make sure they're not getting too many calories.